This is how rad I am, I've got no shoes on. Hello everyone! Hello. <coughs> so, a couple of new ones. Um, the first one is kind of about joy, so it would help if you all were joyful. Which I know you are already, but if you could just kind of take it up a notch. Yeah, just like this lady down here is. Yeah? So, and let me know when you've got that. At the back, are you joyful at the back? Inner smiles everyone, inner smiles. Hey, okay. So. On the days when the trains come, I glide from carriage to platform to carriage like a gypsy working the waltzes. On the days when the trains come, to walk treetop tall is no problem at all, saying hi to the birds who sing back their words. On the days when the trains come, I wear a constant smile, which is beamed back by babies over the shoulders of their grown-ups. On the days when the trains come, my pockets yield exactly the right change to be poured into the hands of grateful shopkeepers. On the days when the trains come, even the nuts turn from being something tough to crack into something to be sweet as. On the days when the trains come, everything in the world just works and I feel my place within it as benevolence rains from the sky. A bit like zippity doo I'm guessing, every line of this poem was written on days like these. Which is, unfortunately, why it has taken me so long to finish it. <laughs> but now that it's done, I realise that it's not about the waiting, it's all about believing that there is this thing called divine timing. Thank you. Now, um, Beth did say, what kind of uh, poetry is it? And I said, oh, you know, just gentle and uplifting and no swears, suitable for the, the whole family. Uh, and I'm about to trash that <laughs> because I've written, I've written, there's a bit of a swear at the end, I've just written it today. And I think, you know, sometimes it's justified artistically. So, this guy sits next to me on the bench. Life, eh? he says. I say, yeah. What do you reckon? He says. I say, well, you know, I'm just still try to figure it out. You're confused, he says. I say, yeah. You never seem to get it right. I say, yeah. You don't even know who you are. Maybe, I say, maybe. He says, yeah. How come you know so much about it all anyway? I ask. I am the maker, he says. I made it this way. Great, I say. In that case, how come happiness is so hard? How come joy is only ever fleeting? Why are we not all floating around in some kind of perpetual ecstatic bliss? Well, you know, says the maker as he gets up to leave, I'm still trying to figure it out. Well, if that was God, I say to myself, we are all Fucked. <laughs> right, I'm going to finish on uh, an oldie, uh, which is about trousers. Oh, we like trousers. You like trousers, good. Like trousers, yeah. <laughs> we thought you liked skirts, but... Skirts good. Skirts are good on weekends. Woo! Yeah. Canal Street. <laughs> Please God, could I keep a grip on my senses, so in 30 years time I still have defences against combing my hair right over the crown in straggly fingers which say, never stay down. And saying things like, it used to be better, or thinking I'm cool in Valdunic and sweater, or eyeing my paunch to see if I look slimmer, or resorting to using a nasal hair trimmer. <laughs> 
But please, God, not the trousers, okay? In their Wedgwood and Olive and Battleship Grey. Let me ignore the assistant or flatly refuse to see how they go with some 20 quid shoes. Let my eyes stay unlit as I stroll past the rack. Let my touch be repulsed by the texture of Hopsack. Plague me, blight me, make me a cesspit repairer. But please, God, don't let me end up a Farrah Slacks wearer. <laughs> Thank you very much.